how to connect Xerox to Aniton step by step. Hey everyone, welcome to this step by step tutorial on how to connect Xerox to Aniton. In this video, we will walk you through how the entire process of connecting your Xerox account to Aniton using Auth 2.0 authentication. You will learn how to set up the Xerox uh, credential in Aniton, authorize the access, and perform a simple test workflow using Xerox Node. So let's get started. Now, if you want to access the Aniton for 15 days for free, just click in the link in the description. So let's dive into the video. Now, first, what you have to do is open your workflow. As you can see here, this is my test. Okay, this is my workflow. I will just simply delete this, these two nodes. Now, click on this add first step uh, button. Now, first we will add triggered manually. So just add it. Now click on this plus icon. Then again, we will add this Xerox a node into our workflow. Now over here, you have to set the action, whether you want to like contact, create and contact, get a contact, get a contact. So I will choose a create an invoice. So as you can see here, this is a simple invoice. Now let's click on this create new credential. So you will get auth redirect URL, client ID, client secret, you have to put. So just copy this. Now what you have to do is go to your Xerox. Now this is my workflow. If you are going to see, this is my uh, simple workflow. Uh, right now I have three things. Okay, this is my Aniton workflow. Uh, what you have to do is uh, uh, go to your, uh, no, go to open docs. You will find there, there is a option of uh, like there is a link of developer option or you can just simply search out so right now i am in the developer page as you can see here if you don't find the link in the doc in that docs here is the url just copy this url and paste into your tab so make sure you have account in to xerox classic now just simply click on the get started and it will take you to this page from here you have to uh, click on this add your auth 2.0 application uh, so you will be prompted to log into uh, xerox first so as you can see here i have already created two apps for the testing purposes now let's click on this new app now over here you have to enter your uh, app name let's say i will say uh, tutorial app now over here select the integration type which is a web app make sure you selected the web app now for the company or application url what you have to do is just copy this url make sure you copy only this much if you're not able to see let me just drag this tab so just copy this and paste into over here now we need redirect to the url which is auth url we will find into your uh, credential section just copy this and paste into here so now i have read and agreed to the xerox developer platform just simply check mark and click on this create app button now we have successfully created our app now what you have to do is go to configuration. You will find the configuration in the left side and copy this client ID. So go and paste this client ID. Now click on this generate secret key and copy this as well and paste into client secret key section. Now click on this connect my account. Now from here you have to uh, simply select the workflow or organization make sure you have created an organization and click on this allow access so wait for a few seconds now as you can see here we have successfully built a connection now once uh, it is connected to anything so from here uh, you can automate a variety of accounting and financial tasks. For example, you will be able to automatically create or update invoices. You can synchronize contact and payment data across iCross platform. 
you can trigger the action based on Xerox event like new payment or contacts. You can seamlessly integrate Xerox with CRM, email tools, Google Sheet and many more things. So this is how you can connect basically to Xerox. Now let's perform a simple task. So I have selected this Xerox as a resource invoice. Now I want to do an operation which is it will create an invoice. Now over here organization name. Now, if you click on it, it will just execute the step. Okay, it's not showing. Okay, let's move. As you can see here, you have to just little bit toggle with it. Now, uh, organization name or ID, ID will be content. Now, over here, you have to select the bill. Whatever type, if you want to, it is like related to sales or invoice, just select that. Now from here you have to add a contact ID. So uh, if you don't know what is contact ID, just simply click on it. Uh, let's go to bills and services. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the contact ID. Let's bill. Now from here you can add line items and additional field as well. Click on add line item. Now over here you can add descriptions, for example, video editing, we, video processes, the quantity of the videos for a uh, unit amount is $10. The From here you can select item code name or ID. Now over here, just Okay, from here you can express uh, just let me just choose the front and tax purchases, tax amount if you want to add that. Let's say two, three, four, line amount one, two, or anything, discount rate two percent. Just add two percent over here. If you want to add an additional items, you can add this. Now let's uh, support. So as you can see, there is was a uh, issue with these parameters. So I'm not able to fix this, but you can help uh, the AI to fix this. Now what I'm going to do is just add a simple uh, contact. So I will just create a a contact over here now let's say if you want to add additional fields like account number address let's add account number one two three four five six seven eight nine then again first name last name if you want to add uh okay the last name if you want to add uh, let's say the email you have just add email name at the rate gmail.com now hit the execute step i wait for a few seconds as you can see here uh, our output is gained. the node has been executed successfully let's go to dashboard now let's see uh, if any contacts has been created in our uh, energy workflow uh, this is our dashboard and i go to accounting projects dashboard so so as you can see here, the contact has been created. I haven't created from here. As you can see, when you execute this step, it will uh, show you this again. Just refresh this page. Again, it will execute uh, this contact. Now, this is how you can connect uh, and attend with the Xerox. So if you found this video helpful, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to create more automations or more things, just comment it down with the idea. I will create video for that too. Thanks for watching.